What is going on everybody? We're back for the third video of a video every single day this month and this time we're gonna be talking about how to chase some of these hyped meme coins that launch. The ones that you feel the cabal gets into. We saw one yesterday with the token Pachita and I want to break down exactly my thought process, how I traded it, where I went about it, what I did to make some cash on this play and uh, overall just where my mentality was, what I did, how I navigated it, where I paper handed it and overall just what my mindset was going through trading a very hyped meme coin that launched on the back of a tweet. So let's just get right into this. The ticker was Pochita. It was the token that launched on the back of Baltsy's tweet. Baltsy was the owner of the dog Cheems. Cheems was a dog that was the premise for Bonk. It's the dog that everyone knows from the Bonk PFP, the one that gets hit on the head with hammer or the, the baseball bat, whatever it is. And it's a cartoon, of course, so not an actual dog being hurt. But they bought a new dog. She was an ex-breeder surrendered by the AFCP and held to LAP charity. They gave her the name Pochita. And this led to a meme coin being launched, running, sending, causing some chaos in the markets. As soon as this tweet went out, multiple tickers hit the timeline. And the best way to capitalize on this is if you're at your computer, it's never a bad time to have a scanner open. What is a scanner? Well, I personally use something like a Bolex. Obviously, we work with Bolex, but the best way to navigate this is to look at something like Pump Vision, where you can see new tokens that hit. And when you start to see the same token pop up multiple times on this left side of new creations, you know something may have happened on the timeline. So immediately what I did was I kept seeing Pochitas pop up, four or five of them. Checked my Telegram groups that I'm in. It's best to have a group, whether you're in a Discord group, Telegram, Twitter chats, somewhere where people are trading alpha. People are active in the markets, and many people started sharing this tweet again, the Boltsy tweet, who talked about Pochito. So I was like, okay, I got to just buy these and figure out which one is going to be the right one. So the first one that I actually bought was the Pochita token on Solana. And you can see here, right after it launched, it was immediately bonded. So it immediately went to Radium extremely, extremely quickly. You can see here the first couple candles within five minutes, where I look at the five-minute candle, it had ran as hard to $7 million dollars in the first 10 minutes so this thing had insane volume and that was what led me personally to want to dive into it i was like okay let's take a look let's see what's happening with this we'll trace we'll trade volume chase after it and see so from this i ended up setting i was aggressively spamming the buys aggressive so what i was actually doing here was i was taking a look at this right side and looking here for my buy priority i adjusted it to 0.05 set slippage much higher and disabled mev protection I could have been mevved, but because of the volume that was on there, I didn't really worry about it. I was mainly focused on just getting a transaction through. And once that transaction went through, I can actually show you where I got in. So we'll show my trades here. You'll notice I bought in for $300 here, and it was at a 386K market cap. Token ended up running very hard, and I ended up selling $500 while still holding a bunch of this. I didn't really know where the token was gonna go. At this point, we were already up to 3 million. So on my two $300, I was already up over 2X. And still had some more ended up selling another 1.13 k so ended up making about 1500 dollars in this first swing on it when it pumped to nine million dollars i was like okay maybe we get a retrace retrace never happened so i did what i never want to do i double dipped but that was because the volume was so insane we see this huge green candle down here where i was like okay volume is actually going to continue on the back of this massive candle that we got bought back in for 733 dollars saw this sideways chop and then as soon as we got a breakout i sold again so we can even take a look at what I did. I invested seven soul and sold 22 soul worth for a total of 2.2K profit, made about 200%. Granted, if I held this position right now, where I sold, it was about 17 million. I left about another 100% on the table, probably could have made another thousand dollars. I'm not terribly worried about it. You see this long consolidation period that happened. That's where I was like, whatever, life goes on. Not too worried about it. Now what gets more interesting though, is with these beta plays, these alternative plays that end up happening. The founder of this token, who are the founder of the dog who owned Cheems has a token on, I want to say either Binance or ETH called Cheems that ran. So what I did was I actually took a look and found the ETH token. So this one was really interesting. You can even see I made another 1.3K here. So I ended up buying the ETH token here for about a thousand dollars. And what I got in at was actually a little bit closer to this 3 million. I ended up getting filled near the bottom of this wick. So right around 4 million. Ended up selling it near this wick at about 9.8 million for 150% profit. Bought in for 900, sold for 2.2K. Once again, could have held it, ran up to 17 mil. So that would have been another 2X on the table. I'm more aggressive about taking profits, especially when you size in on a token that's on ETH and moves a little bit slower. But granted, 
I made a great trade here. You can see the rest of this chart. It consolidated, ended up selling off after that big pump. And now it seems like the Solana token that we just looked at is going to be the winner. That's sitting at 28 million. The ETH one's sitting at 4 million. So we know which one's going to win. That's why I saw the ETH play. New Cheems was on another chain. New people may FOMO buy into ETH. There's more liquidity. They trade slower. Got in and out. Could have kept this position in Pochita on Seoul. Realize though, there's alternative plays to make and you can still get some capital in the market trading some other chains. Then the other thing I did here was when I saw this Pochita on Seoul running so hard all the way up to this 20 million area and even 15 mil, I saw another Pochita launch that had some great volume. This one, I only made $64, 22% profit because I ended up seeing it tail off and die here. But I wanted some exposure because we've been seeing PVP metas where people say this token launch first, this token launch first, and you want some level of exposure. So I bought in this one as well for about $300, ended up selling it for $360, $358, just because I saw the volume declining and we watched it inevitably trail off. So I ended up buying into this around the 1.2 million, selling it around like 1.4, 1.5. Ended up just cutting quickly because I saw the volume decline and more volume cycle back to the other main Pochita. I know we're talking about a lot of these tokens, but when you start to see volume cycle into one token and out of another, it's better to let that one ride, cut positions. And what I was just trying to do was hedge my bet. I was up so big on this token that I wanted to make sure I didn't lose capital and I could take a small swing in case another Pochita gain legs and traction cabal kols decided this was the right one granted they didn't so more it was a hedge and a protective play where i was just trying to protect my downside get a little bit of exposure in case another pochita ran and you can even see this one pumped all the way up to 2.6 million after going as low as 600k so there's even swing trade opportunities on beta plays alternative plays until the real one is decided and we got the real one so yes i paper handed it that is life but it's more just showing you the transparency of how i navigated and how i traded this token that ran so hard all the way up to 30 million dollars here with a peak of 42 million i'm surprised it ran this hard i was thinking it may run to like 15 mil and i would have been comfortable with that because we saw something like repost dog go to 15 mil we've seen other tokens struggle to really break above that 15 mil market cap aside from mudang and granted this one looks now like it's pretty clear it's going to go to 50 mil at some point unless it dies off here and drops back down towards this like 17 area but i'm out completely i'm not interested in buying back in i made my money at four or five thousand dollars and as quickly as i mean you can even look here like this was about two hours made five grand where else in the entire world are you making that type of money everything that i'm focused on here is adding more solana getting more solana exposure and i was lucky enough to have the scanners open be at my computer and be able to trade this narrative when the tweet dropped a lot of times when it comes to me so i hope you learned a thing or two on this i just wanted to share my candid thoughts on how i navigated trading pochita the hyped meme coin of yesterday and what it was what actions i took where my mentality was how i navigated the beta plays and even just where i took profit i mentioned why i did at certain milestones certain points when you're up x amount it's better to just stack that soul you don't know what the next hype narrative is going to be and every day we're getting 100x million dollar tokens you name it so it's better to stay liquid instead of being stuck in a token that ends up drying up losing volume and tailing off of course, obviously I could have held this for bigger capital, but at the end of the day, I made my money. I'm content with it, stacked more Solana, and now I'm back in the trenches looking for the next play. If you learned a thing or two in this video, if you appreciated the insight on a token itself, let me know in the comments below. Hit the like, hit the retweet, hit the subscribe, do anything and wherever you're watching this on Twitter or YouTube. I appreciate you as always. We'll catch you next time.